Funny little things like tiny toadstools are sometimes to be found on dead wood or on decaying leaves. These little growths are called mixes. Part of their life, they are vegetables, and part of their life, they are animals. And probably, they would be minerals too if they could. As you see them now, they are vegetable. Each tiny toadstool becomes covered with little cells, and these are blown away by the wind. If they fall into water, they turn into animals, tiny water creatures with a little tail to help them swim about. To get some idea of how tiny they are, look at this picture. The thing like a barge pole in the front is a human hair. And yet, even at this magnification, the mixes are those tiny specks moving about in the background, almost too small to see. The only things tiny enough for the mixes to eat are bacteria. And as these are usually found near decaying matter, the mixes gather around any floating rubbish. While it is in this form, each mixie has the power of splitting in half and becoming two mixes. And at this rate, they multiply rapidly. Suddenly the mixie draws in its tail and changes into quite a different form. It is still an animal, but has no fixed shape. And eats by surrounding its food. It continues to like bacteria, but now, however, it does not take them neat, but adds a drop of water as an aid to digestion. The mixes now begin to join together, first into pairs and then into parties. Only pairs are eligible for joining a group. So if a mixie has been so bad-tempered that it has failed to find a partner, it is not allowed to become one of the party, but is eaten up. This is a far greater encouragement to matrimony than any tax on bachelors. When the party of the mixes is large enough, it decides to leave the water and adventure onto dry land. The mixie now turns back from being an animal into being a plant again. It is the most peculiar creature, for its body has absolutely no support such as skin or bones. It is quite fluid, and the shape is always changing as it flows along. In the moving shape, however, are channels whose contents flow forwards, stop, and then flow backwards. To see this movement, follow the course of one black speck. This couple in the middle are a good example. This ebbing and flowing cause the mixie to advance like the sea in waves. When two mixes meet, they immediately join forces and flow away together. The mixie has no eyes, yet it can detect light, which it dislikes, for it withdraws immediately. In the same way, the mixie has no sense of smell, yet it can find out its food, usually a decaying leaf or piece of wood, for the mixes are first-class scavengers. No 
notice how it quivers with delight over a good meal. One branch of the Mixie family dines exclusively on toadstools. When, for an experiment, a drop of arsenic was put in front of a Mixie, it failed to detect the poison, flowed right over it, and was obviously taken very ill. On the other hand, another mixie, faced with a drop of Epsom salts, immediately retreated, leaving behind, in its hurry, a lot of good food that it had already swallowed. Mixes like moisture, and in summer, when there is none to be had, they dry up into a hard, brittle mess, which is dark in colour. They can remain in this state of suspended life for years, if necessary. But usually, in the autumn rains, they come to life again, more full of vitality than ever. winter has no fears for them. They may be frozen solid for weeks, but at the first thaw they are active and alive again. Naturally, they are now very hungry, and the ravenous group of mixes on the right balanced its way over a single thread of cobweb to get at the delicious mushroom on the left. Suddenly the group of mixes begins to throw up tiny hillocks which prove to be supported on stems and which are like tiny toadstools. These are the fruit of the mixes. As they ripen, they grow darker. Soon, they are covered with tiny cells. Some mixes trust the wind to scatter these cells abroad, but others have a kind of spring in the stalk, which jerks the ripe cells far and wide. Many of these cells will die, but many live as vegetables and animals to make again some of nature's loveliest patterns, the magic mixes.